Golf's a weird game. We all struggle. If it was easy, everybody would come right out their very first round. They'd shoot even par. They'd break par. They'd have the time of their life, and everybody would just be great at golf. But it's an awkward game. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the most awkward pieces of this. And once we tap into this, we kind of realize how it's supposed to be, golf gets a lot easier. So let's break this down into two parts. Number one, I'm trying to hit this golf ball that's in front of me. And I don't really want to turn away from this. So everybody naturally, their natural inclination, myself included, is I want to stay facing this golf ball so that I can make sure that I hit this golf ball and I hit it really nice and solid. So the last thing I want to do naturally is turn away from the golf ball or open up as I'm coming through this golf ball. And what ends up happening as a result of this and what causes so many problems out there is now we stay locked onto this golf ball. We don't want to move away from it. And all of a sudden, we start to hit with just all arms, all arms and hands. So you've probably seen a lot of swings that look something like this. A player sets up to the golf ball, he gets everything nice and lined up, and then he doesn't turn away from it. And it's all hands and arms, doesn't go very far, not a lot of power. You're really not going to play the kind of golf you want to. Consistency's not very good. Everything's not very good. Well, if you think about it, we don't really do anything else that way. If I was to just grab a couple of these golf balls, and start tossing them down the fairway, you notice what I would naturally do is open up. So my hips, my shoulders, my body, everything would open up more toward the target, and then I would just let that toss. So I'm actually tossing this direction to the side of my body, but I'm letting everything open up so that now that's pretty straight as I'm tossing that golf ball. Now that would be very awkward if I faced forward and I threw that golf ball across the side of my body. It wouldn't look very natural, looks forced. I wouldn't be very, very good at that. Same thing if I had a hammer here. Let's imagine I had you know, a piece of wood here and I was gonna hammer a nail into the side of the wood. I wouldn't do this and keep my body square. Neither would you. Naturally, you would start to open up a little bit and you would really get some power hitting that hammer into that piece of wood in front of us. Same thing with baseball. If I grabbed a baseball bat here and I was automatically gonna hit a fastball, I wouldn't do this and swing with all arms. Naturally, you would start to open up a little bit get those hips and shoulders going, and then you'd really be able to drive that ball down into the outfield, maybe even hit a home run. So golf is very similar to that. So we gotta come on through, make sure that we open up with our body. That way we can accelerate through the golf ball and the golf ball just gets in the way. We're swinging through it and letting contact happen. So that's the first part of this. We have to open up. But there's a second part. If I open up, let's think about what is one of the most common things common problems I have in golf? Well, most players already start to come a little bit over the top. So we're making these swings and already coming over the top. Well, what happens if we open up even more? We come even more over the top. So the trick is we have to open up to be consistent, but we have to come from the inside with our hands, arms, and body. And that's exactly what I'm going to talk about in this video, how to come from the inside, really slot that club, what we call the move in the downswing, and then let your body open up things get a whole lot more natural. All right, so now we know the key is to open up and then still come from the inside and release the club. So let's break that down into two pieces. First, let's talk about the proper way to open up and make sure our body's in a good position here. And what I want you to do to make this really simple, let's take this club with just our right arm only. Now what you'll notice here, if I put my left arm just kind of behind my back just to get it out of the way, if I was gonna hit this golf ball, it would be pretty natural if I went ahead and let my body open up so my hips are opening, they're probably 45 degrees here in front. My shoulders are going ahead and, and opening up to where they're almost 45 degrees in front. And you can imagine almost like that tossing motion we did with the golf ball. I'm just gonna go ahead, nice little easy swing back and through, and I'm just gonna let that golf ball kind of toss up the fairway there. So that's what I want you to visualize here in the beginning. Do about four or five, just practice swings with that until you feel comfortable opening up your body. Maybe grab a few golf balls and toss them down the fairway. If you're in your living room or something like that, just imagine tossing a few golf balls and then try to recreate the same thing in your golf swing. And then really, that's about all a golf swing is. We're just opening up and tossing the golf club toward the target. Now, the second piece of that and why this looks so much different and the common question I get from there is, Okay, Clay, so if, if I'm just opening up and tossing toward the target, then why is it when I see all these pros, when we kind of pause at impact, it looks like their shoulders are fairly square. Their shoulders are kind of facing the target a little bit. I get that the hips are open, but the shoulders don't look very open. The reason for that is because your left arm is on the golf club. So if I take my, my setup with just my right arm only, and I go ahead and let everything open up as I was going to toss this club to the target, my rib cage stays fairly open, 
but my left arm, my left shoulder kind of protracts across my body to be able to hold onto the club. So if I take that left arm off, let me go ahead and pause here at impact. If I take that left arm off the club, you'll notice that my ribs and my chest, my shirt buttons are actually facing out here in front. It's only, it's kind of an optical illusion when my left arm gets drug across my body or is across my body, it feels like it's kind of tight against my pec here. That's what's gonna make my shoulders look square. So in reality, the best players in the world, their ribs and their torso is open at impact. It's just that left arm across the body that makes it look square. So again, go ahead and make some practice swings, just right arm only, getting that feeling of tossing the club toward the target, and then recreate that same feeling, adding the left arm onto the club. So get comfortable with it at first. Once you're comfortable with it, start to make bigger and bigger swings with the left hand on there also, but you're going to have that same sensation you did with tossing the golf ball down the fairway. All right, so we're ready for piece number two. Now, if you already tend to slice the ball a little bit or don't have that nice draw, as you start to open up a little bit more, your tendency is gonna to be to come a little bit more over the top and swing even farther left. So here's the second really big key to this. The golf swing is coming from the inside. So if I'm facing this golf ball, you can imagine I'm swinging my club at about a 45 degree angle out to the right. And this is really what the golf motion is. Again, that's that tossing action that I was talking about. I'm tossing the golf ball this way. The only difference is, as we do this in a golf swing, as my body rotates open, now that's square. So the sensation is I'm tossing to the right, or my club is moving to the right through impact, and it's my body squaring up, or my body opening up, that allows that to actually be square. So a few out to the right, just to get the idea, and as that body opens up, now that's gonna be square, or from the inside. Now if I'm thinking about swinging the club this way, so now my body's toward the golf ball, and I'm swinging the club across my body like this, well, what happens when I open up? Now everything's going way to the left, and that's the most common mistake that I see. Players are swinging across their body versus inside out from the inside. Now, the second piece to this is once I get that sensation of that club kind of swinging out to the right this way, so do a few with just your hands and arms this way. If you're sitting at your desk, if you're sitting at home right now, stand right up. If you just watch this video and don't follow along, you're not really going to get any better. It'll feel good to, to have some new ideas and some things to practice on, but let's actually make it stick right now, build a little bit of muscle memory. Stand up right now and go ahead and get this club to swing. So my hips are facing the golf ball, and I'm going to get this club to swing a little bit out to the right. All right, so I'm really letting that club swing out there. Now you'll notice as I'm doing this, I'm letting the club face turn on over. I don't want to do this and hold off the club face and feel like I'm just holding everything open. I want to go ahead and let that face turn on around. So as you start that downswing, this club, if you look at my wrist, is starting to rotate the face closed. The club's going from open to closed throughout the hitting area. Happens in every single good golf swing. Every, every great player is letting that face close down as they're coming through the shot. Now, depending on how much you want the ball to turn over from right to left, I could do a little bit more and really close the face, or I could do a little bit less. So look at your ball flight. If it's not getting the draw you want, I'm gonna feel like I'm more from the inside and I'm really letting that hand roll on over. So if we took our hand and we just did this, almost like if you're on a motorcycle and you turn the, the gas up, if I had that on a club and I did that same thing, that's that closing action of the club face. Same thing with the right hand. If I was on a motorcycle and I, I turned the gas back like this, that's that same action that's closing the face. We also let our hands roll on over as though you had doorknobs and you're gonna turn the doorknobs to the right, turn the doorknobs to the left. So when those are happening, I'm giving you a few feelings to have there, but I gotta let that face roll on over as I do that. So let's go ahead and do a couple here. Let's exaggerate. And if you're on the driving range, just take about 10 or 15 golf balls, set up square to it, and I want you to feel like you're just gonna swing way out, 45 degrees out to the right. Now you're gonna to wanna to put this ball a little bit back in your stance to do this drill. And again, this is only a drill to feel this. This is not exactly what's going on because your body will be opening up in the golf swing, but I wanna exaggerate here to get started. Put this ball on your back foot, swing a little bit out to the right, kind of that 45 degrees, and let that face roll on over. Now from there, you're gonna see that ball starts to really hook. So we can see that ball start to curve away from that bunker, even though I'm only hitting it 20 or 30 yards. 
Now it's going to start way out there to the right and that's completely fine. So again, swinging 45 degrees this way, really letting that face turn on over and my, my body's kind of facing this golf ball as I'm doing that. So again, you see that ball start to want to curve back this way because of the spin on it. Now once you're comfortable with that, now we have all the ingredients for a really good shot. Number one, I'm going to go ahead and let my body open up like we did in the earlier video. Let everything open so that I'm tossing toward the, toward the, the flag. Number two, I'm going to have that sensation that that club is swinging out to the right and releasing. When I put both of those together, that's actually going to be a square path and that ball is going to be a little bit of a nice draw. So that's the real trick there. Golf is a side-on game, so you got to open up and you got to let that club release if you want to be really consistent. If we do this, the ball just gets in the way, we square up the club face without even really having to think about it, and we can really hit some great shots. Now wait right there, I've got an awesome bonus for you. In this video, we talked about how we need everything to open up so that we can release the club in front. We can just feel like we're tossing that club down the fairway and now contact and the ball just gets in the way. It's a natural action like we'd have with a hammer, with a baseball bat, and hopefully we'll build that with our golf club. Now on the Top Speed Golf System, we call this the straight line release. So I have a great bonus video that's gonna play for, for you here in a second. If you wanna watch that entire thing, and get to where the straight line release becomes completely comfortable, just click the I card that pops up on your screen or the link down below in the description. You'll be able to watch that full video and build on what we talked about here so your club is always releasing out in front. Let's go ahead and get started. Well, a common misconception I see is that we want to create lag and we just want to hold that lag all the way on through contact and get as much lag as we can coming through contact and that's simply not true. In the release section, we're going to talk about how to turn that lag into energy, how to turn that into speed so that you can hit it very far and do it, like we mentioned, without hardly any effort at all. And as we're coming through contact, we're going to fully release this angle as we're about 45 past contact. So if I draw you know, a 45 degree angle, I should be looking at both arms, nice and straight, the club splitting those arms, so that by releasing the club, by getting this angle to release as we're coming through contact, that's what's going to create the speed. Our hands are moving a very short distance, our club is moving a very long distance through contact, and it creates that whip-like effect. Very different swings hitting the exact same position. So first let's take a look at Dustin Johnson releasing the club 45 past. And the reason we're going to see such similar or such different swings producing similar positions is that this is the real physics of how this has to happen. Here we're looking at Sergio Garcia. Again, we're going to see tons.